Okay, let me go over quantity versus quality real quick. So inside GeoVision, by default, the quality of the video is 320 by 240, but you can jump that up to 720 by 480. 720 by 480 is TV resolution. And 320 by, or, uh, let's see here. Sorry about this. Uh, let me get those numbers out for you. <laughs> All right, so click on the hammer and the screwdriver icon, go down to AV settings, and then video source. Now there is 720 by 480, and by default it's 320 by 240. 320 by 240 is like webcam size or online videos. I don't know if you've been to YouTube and you watch the videos and then you stretch them to full screen and they are usually pixelated and kind of ugly. That's basically what the video resolution inside GeoVision is, but you get a lot more storage. So with that said, let's go ahead and set it at 320 by 240 and press OK. And that is default. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a, a lower quality video, but you're going to get twice as much on your hard drive space. So in actuality, what would be the easiest way to explain? So if you're, if you're watching a cash register or money flow, you'll probably want it on its highest resolution. If you're just monitoring your house and you really don't, you know, just basically being able to see the person or or object that is interfering or, or you may need to keep on records, 320 by, by uh, 240 is perfectly fine. So to change this, by default, let's go back up to the 720 by 480. So we got 320 by 240 here, but we want 720 by 480. So let's go ahead and choose OK. I'm sorry, I kind of skipped ahead. You click on the hammer and the screwdriver, you go down to AV setting, and you go to video source to change that. Now let's go up to general settings, system configure. Sorry, my mouse is geeking out on me here. Okay, general settings, system configure, camera record settings. Now, even though you changed it right there, does not mean it's recording at that resolution. So you can either choose this, the smaller, like let's say you just want to view it live at that video resolution, but you don't want to record it at that video resolution. So you would just keep that 360 by 240. But I want to record it at 720 by 480. So I'll go to recording quality and by default it's at 4. I just want to put it on the highest for these video tutorials. 720 by 480 and click OK. Now by default remote viewing is still that 320 by 240 so let's go ahead and change that too. So technically there's three places where you can change the quality. You have your hammer and the screwdriver, you have AV settings, video source, that's your live view. Then you have general settings, system configure, and then camera record settings, and that's your recorded size. And then for remote view, you would click on the icon in the bottom left here, it looks like the three computer monitors called the network, and you'll go to the webcam server. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And then turn it back on to get the dialog box. Now if you go over to your video, I have this on actual size, but it's usually at normal. Normal is the 320 by 240. Let's go to actual size and press OK. Now let's go in to log into our webcam. And I'm just going to open up Internet Explorer. And 
and I'm going to go to Homevid demo four dot dipmap dot com colon eighty one. Okay, go ahead and log in. Okay, now you'll see this little icon. Looks like two screens kind of recycling together. If you click on that, go to the GOH264, and by default it's 320 by 240. Let's choose the 720 by 480 and it's going to change that resolution for us on the remote view. Now we can get a much better clear resolution. And if we want to change that back, or if we right click and go resolution, it'll tell us the resolution we're in in the bottom right hand corner. Let's go back to 320 by 240 and there we go. Now with all this said, Now, when you change that resolution up, you're going to get a way better, higher quality video. However, it's going to kill your hard drive space. So what you may want to do is watch the video tutorial on calculating hard drive space and kind of play around with the different resolutions. Basically change the resolution to the 720 by 240 and then go to the hammer and the screwdriver, go to AV settings, go to video attributes, and then go to advanced and you click on hard drive calculator and choose the uh, codec that you have and the cameras and basically do a test I would say do like a four hour test you know make sure on an average day what what would happen within four hours would usually happen click the calculate button and or you would set like you know if I want 30 days set that in there and then click calculate but watch the how to calculate hard drive space tutorial to for a more in-depth detail on that so you might want to change the resolution from the default one to the 720 by 480 do the calculate the hard drive test see you know kind of get a feel of, of how much hard drive space that's gonna take and then if you need to you can always get an external hard drive or just another internal hard drive if you need to increase that resolution. I recommend a terabyte with the higher resolution. Alright, I hope this video tutorial helped you out and didn't confuse you too much. And please visit us at www.palmvid.com.